I'm going to make a tool to cut the, cut the internal thread so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grind a bit of quarter high speed steel to the required 55 degree point I'm going to mount it inside this bit of 5 8 square stock what I've done, I've drilled a quarter inch hole through there I'm going to file it, file it square so the key seal will fit through it and we'll just look, lock it in with a blood screw Drill the top with 4mm just for a securing bolt, just to lock the, the tool in. Centre drill first. Top and drill for 4mm. That one there. Stops in the box with a 4mm top, so I can't lose it. with the drill running it a lot faster to do this but we've only got one hole to do so we'll just take our time very gentle with the form of the top and easy to easy to break it So it runs straight. Better. That's it started. I'm just going to put a centre there just to hold it. Put a little bit of weight on by hand. Just keeps it top nice and nice and straight. This is actually key steel what key steel we're using, it's quite decent material. Drill back where where it lives. This will or to fail a square hole, we'll drill and tap that four mil lock and bolt and go in there. It's a big hole with screw cutting so I've got plenty of plenty of room. There's a bit of movement on there so we'll have to make sure that we'll get the tool set up 90 degrees to the bar. That's going to make a nice, a nice stiff threading tool. Right, well, initial grind will be done on this stone, 55 degrees. I've got a gauge here, 55 degrees, I've guessed that and it's very very near. This is my little tool grinder, 
I've got the angle of the tool set at 27 and a half degrees to the stone, which is half year 55. I've got 15 degrees of back rake on it. That's clearance on that side of the tool. When I'm using this tool, I wear a full face visor and I don't stand in line with the, line with the wheel. I've had a wheel blue on this before. Uh, you make sure you're on one side of it. Let's put a nice finish on the tool. What we'll do now, we'll turn it all around and machine this part of the tool on the other side of the wheel. So we'll go from back to zero, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27 and a half degrees. Lock that up. Then we want our back rate the other way, so we'll go 15 degrees, zero, 10, 15 degrees that way. I've set the lathe up to screw cut the thread in the back plate but what I've done I've put a bit of heavy wool paint in, board that to size just to practice on. I don't want to cut the thread wrong in the in the back plate. So I've got the cross compound slide set 27 and a half degrees, the tools on centre height and it's set square to the job. The gearbox is all set up to cut 6 TPI. I've checked it and I've actually started to cut the thread. How I'm doing this one, I'm going to disengage the lead screw once the nut, once the cut tool gets through. So we'll put our feet on with a compound slide. <coughs> and wait for our thread delicator to come around. I'm using that red mark on the thread delicator. That's it there. Once the tool goes through, it just like gives a half notch and you wind the cross straight in one full turn. Wind that back out, that back to zero, and you put your cut on with your compound straight. Put it through at the same setting just to. You've got to do things exactly the same way every time. If you do it, you'll make a mistake.
put another cut through at the same setting that's what they call a spring cut so taking the spray out of the tool and then we'll try the we'll try the piece together see if it's starting it's amazing how little it takes to get it from not going on to to going on so we're showing 170 on there now but with it being an angle it's, it wouldn't be 270 wait for the indicator to come round this will be a, a really good time to have a cigarette now. We don't play those games anymore. That's it there. Back to zero. Fairly happy with that. In fact, we're, look at that bastard. We're very happy with that. If I can get that flare into the into the back plate where it matters. <coughs> 